Welcome to Vocabulary Wednesday. I, I am Chris with da 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 Magoosh. I got more words from you. Where are these words coming from? They're coming from dictionary.com, which is a great resource to look up words, and they also have a word of the day feature. Now, I'm not, by no means, am I encouraging you to go to their word of the day and just start looking up words there. There are some ridiculously obscure words that you will never ever encounter in life, like gibbosity was one that I saw. Don't even worry about what that means. How they're sprinkled in all of their sesquipedalianism. So we have cheery words, legitimate words, words you should know, and here they are starting with frippery. Oh, look how frippery the board is. No, frippery does not mean slippery. Frippery talks about something that is decorative, but it goes too far. It becomes way f too fancy and ornate. And so you can imagine a Christmas tree, because Christmas is right around the corner. And it's nice to have a few ornaments on the tree. I like to put some here and there, maybe a little bit of those wrappings. But sometimes when you go to the mall or the shopping plazas, they have this Christmas tree and it has these like 10 foot, well, it's not 10 foot, more like 10 inches <laughs> ornaments on them and all of these silver things. And the tree just looks crazy. So like something out of, basically like, like Elton John or something, and it's supposed to be just a Christmas tree. So you can see that it's gone too far in an example of frippery. Now frippery can relate to architecture. I think of Versailles. If you've ever been to Versailles, it's in France. It is way over the top. So unnecessarily decorative captures frippery. Next word, comeuppance. What is comeuppance? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm all the way up here. Comeuppance, no. I not, not nothing to do with moving. It actually has to do with the idea of you, you're a bad guy. You've done many bad things, and so far you've gotten away with it. But then one day, bam, karma gets you. That karmic comeback or payback, that has come up, and you're getting what you deserve. And so we always see this in movies. There's like a they're a bad guy, and, you know, for like two thirds of the movie, they're just doing bad guy things, nothing happens. And then of course at the end, like, these days, like, who knows what happens, like their head explodes or something terrible, and they get their comeuppance. Next word. These words are cool today. Check out these words. Look at this bugbear. I like this, like, earth sign bearish creature crawling around, like, eating up insect arm the bugbear. But it's not that at all. It's actually something that just really gets to you, and you really hate it. It's like the source of all your loathing. It's like, oh, I just hate it. So what is your bugbear? Please don't say GRE vocabulary. Don't say God GRE vocab guy. I hate you, but I'm here because I have to take the test. You're my bugbear, man. I hopefully am nobody's bugbear. Maybe vocabulary is your bugbear, but I'm hoping to make it less bugbearish, which isn't a word. But again, we can think about in our lives. There's something that just causes us like a lot of frustration. Like when I drive and I'm in a hurry, I'm in the fast lane, and there are two cars, and they're both going like seven miles an hour below the speed limit, and they're just driving in sync for like a mile, and I need to go. Bugbears. Next word. Oh, this one's a meaty word to say. All those fun words, and then we end with panegyric. Yeah, comes from Greek. Basically, it means high praise, usually in written form. So, if someone is praised in writing, that is an example of panegyric. Now, uh, I was thinking the other day, wow, what? When does anyone ever get praised in writing? And then I realized that, oh, on the blog, people sometimes say, we love your vocab Wednesdays, or we love this post, it's so awesome, thank you so much. And that is panegyric. And so I have been a recipient of panegyric. And of course, you know, there's some comments, not so quite panegyric-y, but we won't talk about those. But we will talk about more vocab words next week. I will see you then.